Israel's message to Hezbollah, get your military positions off our soil or we will. The Lebanese terror group maintains one tent with six to eight armed fighters on Israeli soil. Over the weekend, they took a second tent down, but left their men in the remaining position. Both tents were erected in April. It's imperative for Israel to make clear that crossing an international border is the ultimate red line. I'm pretty sure that uh, this message has been sent to Hezbollah via various mediators. We've seen one tent come down, but if the other tent stays there, then they were still stuck with this bone uh, in, in Israel's throat. Israel reportedly sent word to Hezbollah via intermediaries to dismantle its positions and retreat, or military action would come and that an undisclosed deadline was given. Local media reported that Israel has been in contact with the UN and the United States in the hopes they could resolve the matter peacefully. But Hezbollah has been pushing further into Israeli territory for years now, one provocation after the next. But you know, this starts all the way back with sending those drones to the Israeli offshore rig, and then there are uh, um, Hamas rockets with Hezbollah approval being fired from southern Lebanon. Then there was the Megiddo terrorist attack. If we put all of these things together, Hezbollah is stepping up its provocations, but it's not looking to cross the threshold of war. Israel and Lebanon do not have a formal border, as there is no peace agreement between the two due to territorial disputes. Instead, the blue line is marked by a UN-recognized series of blue barrels. But why now? Because Hezbollah sees Israel as weak. The discourse is being focused on the dwindling uh, uh, vitality of Israel. One should put it that way. I mean, this protest from within, more often than not, is being understood as another reason to why should I put the test now? Compounding that is the time Israel has taken to respond to the latest transgression. Many believe that Israel should have taken immediate military action against the outpost, rather than letting it balloon into an international incident. Now the question becomes what sort of deadline Israel has set, and what will happen if it's not met.